our bachelor of today, Jim Wazowski. This moment we'll be introducing our two beautiful contestants, Sandy from Connecticut, and Kathy, our doctor from Michigan. Tonight, our two guests, we will be introducing them. Sandy is from Connecticut, and she is a homemaker and an entrepreneur. Sandy, please tell us more about yourself. Um, like she said, I'm Sandy. I went to the University of Phoenix online, graduated with honors with a degree in home economics. I love long walks on the beach. I have 25 cats. I um, make preservatives. I sew quilts and sell them on eBay. And that's all. Wonderful. Very interesting. Very entrepreneurish of you. Kathy, brain surgeon from Michigan, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, unlike Sandy, I graduated from UGA and got a degree in biology, and soon after I went to John Hopkins, where I decided my number one goal in life would be to cure cancer. Well, because of that, I don't really have much time to date and go out and see men, so that's why I'm on the show. But I'm sure my income will compensate for all of that. All right, and now we will introduce our bachelor of today. Our bachelor for today, Jim Wazowski. He is a family financial planner, got his um, FFP certification from UGA, just like our contestants, and works with, a, with the consulting consultants firm. All right, Jim, please come out. <laughs> Jim, thanks for coming to the show today. Well, thanks for having me. No problem. So please, tell us a little more about yourself. I've already introduced where, um, where you've been, and let us show on that a little bit more. Well, I'm Jim Wazowski. I just opened my own uh, business, The Consulting Consultants, and I do a lot of consulting work for people who need consulting. And because I just started that, I'm real busy. I'm working all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm looking for, uh, don't really have time. E-Harmony didn't work out. So now I just wanted to try this game show. All right, well, thanks for trying it out. Jim, these women are so different tonight. How do you make a choice? That's a great question, and I think I'm going to use one of my skills I learned from family and financial planning. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called the neoclassical model of specialization and exchange. What it is, is utility is derived from home goods and market goods, market being the workplace. And each person, because we're so busy, will generally um, be more concentrated in one area either the market or in home. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, well let's take a look at these ladies' specialization graphs, as you call them. Oh yeah. All right. So let's take a look at the specialization graphs. During the commercial break, we had some pretty ladies come draw these for us. And as you can see here, because I specialize uh, in the workplace, I have a higher production possibility in the market than at home because I'm always busy and I don't like to take out the trash or do dishes. But Sandy over here, because she's home all the time with the cats, knitting, making stuff, she's over here at 70. But because she only sells stuff on eBay and nobody likes using PayPal, she only has 20 in the market. And finally, Kathy over here, our brain surgeon, she's always uh, in the office or looking for cancer and because she doesn't have a house and she lives in her office she only has five over here. Hey, not fair! Now, what we do is we combine these two and as you see here this would be myself and Sandy on one uh, graph and myself and Kathy. So we still have the normal lines as we did before so PPFJ here from 80 to 10 and PPFK, excuse me, PPFS for Sandy um, from 20 to 70 is pretty sad. But as you see, when you put it all together, half of um, this would be both of us at full specialization. But in the relationship, you figure you share everything. So at half here is this line, and that's going to be where we would consume. This and this area would be us having benefits being outside of the relationship, with this area being the benefits we gain being in the relationship. Now, Jim and Kathy, 170, man, that's a lot of money. 
But if you look over here, 15, that means nothing would ever get done at home. So because we do the same thing as before, 85 and 7 and a half would be our halves. And again, this is the advantage. This area here is the advantage of being outside as well as this. And this little area here would be us being in the relationship, which probably won't work out too well. Wow, that was complicated. Of course it looks complicated, sweetie. You double stitch for a living. Anywho, it's great that you can draw these graphs and whatnot, but how is this going to determine who you'll choose? Oh, well, let me show you. As you see here, I've compiled some information, and I calculated the comparative advantage. And one person has an advantage over someone if they have a lower opportunity cost for doing one of the uh, actions. So as we see here, uh, Kathy, because she's loaded and she's really smart, wins out. And then in the household, we got Cat Lady. And as we see here, an absolute advantage is when one person has an advantage over someone else. And in the market, I have it. And then in the household, Sandy has it. And because none of us are good in this relationship at household stuff, unfortunately, with a meager 10, I went out in the household and Kathy wins in the market. Well, from all the information we've gathered here today, Jim, who are you going to choose to take on the wonderful Maui getaway? Well, I'd probably have to choose Sandy because we've got a best of it. I think Sandy and I stand in the front. She's not going to work out. We're not going to have time to see each other. Okay, so the opportunity that you have with Sandy will be the best game from your relationship, for this relationship. Exactly. Sync with the Mr. Bachelor Man. <laughs> you should do nerdy stuff like that, please. Three beats a minute. Ooh. That's kind of slow. I'm not gonna lie. Still hanging in there. She's got that real strong heart. 